Okay, and inevitably at the end of a unit, I get people asking me, how can I get my grade up? And it tends to come down to two things. One, you didn't do your homework. And two, you did poorly on your quiz, which usually is because you didn't do your homework. So I thought it was time to drop in with a little data download before we get to the end of the unit. Um, as I'm recording this, it's January 20th. Our unit is expected to end on the 29th, possibly getting pushed out to February 2nd. So you've got some time. Now it is a combined unit, unit six, Confederation to Constitution, and unit seven, launching a new Republican Jeffersonian era. Now I'm aware that those pictures are blurry. Um, that's just the way that I made the slide deck and you know we're just gonna deal with it. So we're gonna look at a little data download um, on those flipped lessons, which are not the only option you have. You could do the homework menu that I've mentioned previously. So going and continuing from here, um, the 1521 flip lesson, why is it called the United States? 20 responses. Um, I have in grand total about 80 of you. So about a quarter of the class responded. Seventh hour takes the cake on that. 35% of the responses of those 20 came from students in seventh hour. And how did people do? Well, admittedly, there's a couple I haven't graded yet, but we can see that this is skewing towards higher grades, towards getting an A on an A or a B on this assignment. So what does that mean? How does an A or a B affect your grade? It puts your grade up. I know 30% is only, or homework is only 30% of your grade. However, if you're getting an A or a B on your homework, it's gonna also make it so you know this stuff on the test. And then you're gonna get an A or a B on your test. That means you're gonna have an A or a B for the class overall. Don't just skip this stuff. Let's take a look at the next one. Um, flip lessons come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We can see for the seventh, um, it was pretty much an even distribution across all four periods, but again, only 15 responses. This is dropped. These are linked on Schoology. These first two are in this unit six folder on Schoology. They're also linked to the uh, homework menu on the blue plate specials. For this one, I know it says it's out of 24. It's not, it's only out of 12. And you can see there's people getting 13s and 14s. So they're going above and beyond the possible points on this to actually score even better. So doing the homework makes a big difference. You actually score well. These assignments are not complicated, I promise. They are straightforward. You get a bell ringer at the start, and then you get um, a section that just kind of gives you a video on the lesson ask you a few questions, some short answers, some multiple choice, and then an exit ticket at the end. A few of them have more than three sections, but it's the same concept. Um, on January 12th, the flip lesson was on interpretation of the Constitution. Once again, seventh hour, taking the cake. Congratulations, guys. 33% of our 12 responses came from seventh hour. So four of you from seventh hour actually responded. And then you can see how it breaks down the rest of the way. Half the responses from fourth and fifth combined, so that's going to be about three from each of those classes. But 12 responses is awful. Come on, these are easy assignments. Um, get them in, get them done. You should get some points for it. Super easy. And we can see, again, people are scoring off the charts. I chose that particular Bitmoji on the first slide on purpose. Um, our 114 flip lesson was on Barbary Pirates, and only eight people have done the pirate lesson. Fourth hour, though, took the cake on this one. 37.5% of the responses coming from fourth hour. Um, the insights here, there is one that I haven't graded. That's what that zero is, is one that I haven't graded. So you can see people are scoring 11, 13, 15 points. This one's out of 16, so you just cut it in half to get that out of eight, and I round up. So 15 counts as an eight out of eight, an A plus 100% on this homework assignment. All you have to do is do it. Don't just put in random answers, watch the videos that are in it, and go ahead and do it. Finally, the flip lesson that just came out yesterday, awesome job, already four responses on this, even though it's only been posted for about 16 hours, um, not exaggerating. As I make this video, about 16 hours it's been out there. Two of you from fifth hour already haven't even seen fifth hour yet, one from second, one from fourth. And for those of you who are like, I don't know if I want to do this, if it could be boring, let me tell you, there are stupid memes of me, Wayne, across these things. This lesson is starring Alexander Hamilton, 
Thomas Jefferson and Ariana Venti asking you to pick a side. So that's what I've got for you. Um, please do your homework. That's all I've really got to say here. Please do your homework. It's easy. That is today's data download. Um, please take care of yourself and one another. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. From my household to yours. We love you.